Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm taking a really aggressive approach to seeing what's on the inside of a mattress. And in this process, I'm truly going to test the flame resistance of this material. You'll note that in some previous videos, I took a careful look at deconstructing not only a mattress, but a California King box spring. If you want to take a look at those videos, see the links in the description below. And you can see all the great parts that you can salvage for other projects and get an idea of how these things were made in a much more careful view. But for now, I'm going to put on my face shield, grab the orbital grinder, and start to spark this thing up. You can see right away there is a fabric layer on top followed by polyfoam layers, all of which I am just quickly hacking out of this. While you get a little bit of an idea of the sparks that are jumping to the outside of this mattress while I'm going through it, what you can't see that I can't see from my angle is the amount of sparks jumping to the inside that stay glowing in between the layers of materials. So I figured as long as I'm working on this thick wool insulation material, I might as well really throw some sparks so you can get a good idea of what's going on outside and inside. You'll notice by taking this approach, I got to the steel on the inside much quicker than I did in the previous video deconstruction. After flipping the entire thing over, I begin on the second side, removing all three of the same layers again quite quickly. Please note that I did come into this quite prepared. I have a fire extinguisher at the ready as well as plenty of other safety materials just to make sure that I do not run into a problem. So, did I manage to start a fire yet? Nah, not so much. In fact, this isn't even melting or causing any degree of smoldering in any of the material at this point. So far I've managed to rip off and make quite a bit of mess out of the various fibers and cellulose based materials and haven't seemed to spark up much of any kind of an interest in a flame or smoke or smoldering or melting of any kind whatsoever. So if you take a drop down and take a look at the mess that I have on the floor, there's quite a bit there and it's been getting bathed in sparks, but I think I'm going to have to kick up the effort a little bit as I continue to remove the steel. I do have to admit, it sure was an awful lot of fun taking this rather unorthodox approach at dismantling a mattress. In fact, most of my what's inside videos, I do take a very careful approach so that I can salvage the materials, but I've got a lot of leftovers still from the previous mattress. So I thought I would have this fun with this one and test out the flame retardant nature of the materials in the mattress itself. So at the end of this entire process, what I ended up coming up with was basically a way to take an entire mattress and fit it in less space than a single recycling can, but I didn't manage to get even a hint of fire out of this mattress, which I guess I wasn't too surprised about, but in the meantime, I did have a lot of fun throwing sparks everywhere and watching the show, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video as I destroyed this mattress. Thank you for watching please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.